Introduction to Probability Part 1 uh, First, we need to introduce some definitions and terminology نقدم في الاحتمالات The first definition is sample space فضاء العينة Second, event حدث Then operations Union, اتحاد, intersection, تقاطع, complement مكمل Based on that, we need to define the probability تعريف الاحتمال and then the probability rules قواعد الاحتمالات First, what is the meaning of the sample space? Sample space, in general, we can say all possible outcomes of an experiment Whatever the experiment that have more than one possible outcomes then we can find the sample space as the set of all the possible outcomes For example, if we have one coin if you are tossing one coin, what you are expecting? يبقى فراغ العينة هو كل النتائج المحتملة أو الممكنة لتجربة ما مثال one coin لو احنا بنعمل إلقاء لقطعة عملة واحدة المتوقع من نتائج قبل إلقاء قطعة العملة We are expecting to have head or tail صورة أو كتابة Then we can define S very simply إنه S is sample space head and tail Can be simplified we can say S, head, tail, or H, T, the same meaning, okay? If we complicate the experiment to include two coins, now before tossing the two coins, what we can expect? We can expect, expect uh, more than one possible outcome. Indeed, will be four points, four outcomes. The first one, the first head, the first coin is head, and the second coin is head and the second outcome can be first head first coin is head and the second coin is tail and the third outcome can be first coin tail and second coin head and the last outcome can be first coin is tail and the second coin is tail يعني في حالة مع في حالة إلقاء قطعتين من العملة متوقع يكون عندنا أربع نتائج إنه ممكن يكون صورة 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 كتابة كتابة صورة we يكون صورة كتابة وكتابة يبقى عندي في تجربة إلقاء قطعتين عملة متوقع أن يكون عندنا أربع نتائج محتملة وبالتالي يبقى sample space in this case including four points يبقى number of points in S now four points second definition event what is the meaning of the event subset of the sample space we are defining that subset indeed so Example of two coins, as we said, we have S, four points, head, 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 tail, tail, head, and tail, tail. Assuming we are interested only in getting two heads. So, that case, we can say we have subset of S. So, now getting two heads, the subset of S. So, we can say if you are defining E as event, getting two heads, then we can say E is subset of S. And E now is event. So what are the points in S can be in E? Very simply, only one point, head, head, or H, H, that to define the E. But is the event who goes in فراغ العينة من sample space بيعبر عن جزء إحنا مهتمين به إن somehow أو إحنا بنعرفه أو إحنا بنعرف the E the event ده. يبقى the event هو subset of the sample space. We are defining that or we are interested in that. We can define many events indeed. So assuming now we can define another event F getting at least one head. نفترض إن في عندنا جزء من فراغ العينة إحنا مهتمين به هنسميه F وهو الحصول على الأقل على صورة السؤال دلوقتي What are the points in S satisfying F? هتقول لي 3 points إما يكون head tail يبقى F can be head tail can be tail head or head head لأنه F getting at least one head يبقى ينفع one head اللي هو 2 points اللي عندنا أو ينفع كمان يكون عندنا 2 heads لأنه قال لي على الأقل صورة فينفع يكون عندنا صورتين ده لا يعني حصول على صورتين ما زال ما زال موجود معانا في الاف والتالي بنقول اف انكلودنج فور فور بوينت. وات از ذي اوبريشنز ذات وي كان دو؟ اليونيون اللي هو معناه كومبايننج ايفنتس وبنكتب اي يونيون اف اي يو اف مينز اي يونيون اف سو ار كومبايننج الايفنتس Combining the points 
in E and F together in one in new event. يعني return back for the example of two coins. ال S equal head 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 tail tail head tail tail. E only one point. F three points. Now what is the E union F? Very simply, you are combining the events, the points in E and F. You are combining events E and F, then combining their points. If we are trying to combine the points in E and F, then combining their points. If we are trying to combine the points in E and F, then combining their points. If we are trying to combine the points in E and F, then combining their points. If we are trying to combine the points in E and F, then combining their points. If we are trying to combine the points in E and F, then combining their points. If we are trying to combine the points in E and F, then combining their points. If we are trying to combine the points in E and F, then combining their points. If we are trying to combine the points in E and F, then combining their points. If we are trying to combine the points in E and F, then combining their points. After that intersection, intersection, the common points in E and F or common points in events. The نقاط المشتركة في الأحداث ب دا بيعرف ال intersection the very simply. So E intersection F, if the intersection F can be written like this, or very simply E F. If you say E F, that means E intersection F. So now in our example. E intersection F equal only one point repeated or only one point in E and the same time in F. If the intersection now equal head head or the point H H. In the same way, what is the complement? The complement of the event all the points in sample space, not the event, not in the in the event. That means E complement now all the points in S, not in E. If you look at E only, we have one point. Then all the points in S not in E. That means in the E complement, E dash equal head tail tail head and tail tail. Based on the sample space event, we can define the probability. We have different definitions for the probability. If you try to find the theory of probability, the simple one based on the classical, we can say classical approach based on the relative frequency. So the probability of a specific event equal the number of points in that event divided by the number of points in sample space. في نقاط كتيرة أو في عيوب كتيرة للتعريف ده. We have some disadvantages for that definition, but we don't need to discuss now. If I very simply how to find the probability, just the number of points in specific event divided by the number of points in the sample space. If I that تعريف البسيط للprobability. لو حبينا نعمل application. Example of two coins still. مثال بتاع العملتين مشين عليه. The E and F defined. The probability of E now equal one over four because we have one element in E, one point in E divided by four points or four elements in S. Similarly, the probability of F equal three over four. Probability of the union that equal 3 over 4 probability of the intersection now 1 over 4 because you have only 3 points in the union and you have only 1 point in the intersection before introducing the probability rules we can just discuss very simple point difference between mutually exclusive events and the independent events very simply the mutually exclusive events the events that have no intersection okay بالعربي بنقول أحداث متنافية وهي الأحداث that cannot happen in the same time وبالتالي the there is no intersection if the probability of the intersection of E and F if they are mutual exclusive equal zero in the same time very simply the independent events the events that have no relation so mutual exclusive no intersection independent events no relation between them so probability and that how to check that we have independent events how we can check that we have independent events that the probability of the intersection equal the probability of e times probability of f so if the intersection equal the product of the probability then we have independent events if the intersection the probability of the intersection equal zero so we have a mutually exclusive events that before introducing the probability rules the last point we are discussing in that part the probability rules we have four probability rules the first one the union very simply assuming we have the probability of e probability of f probability of the intersection probability of ef means intersection يبقى لما نكتب probability ef معناها احتمال التقاطع بتاع ال e والf so 
اليونيون فيرست رول probability of E or F that equal probability of E plus probability of F minus the probability of E F why we are subtracting inter intersection if we have because we adding the intersection two times if you are saying probability of E including the intersection plus probability of F including intersection so now probability of E F that added two times now we have duplication in the calculation, so we have to remove it one time. This is the reason. If you have mutually exclusive events, then we don't have intersection, then it minus zero. So very simply, if we have intersection between events, the formula, including minus one probability, minus probability of EF. If you have no intersection, then there is no minus probability, minus intersection. Very simply, because intersection equals zero. So if you have a mutually exclusive events, that case, then we can say union just the probability of E plus probability of F. Complement, the second rule, very simple rule. Probability of E complement equal one minus probability of E. Whatever E and E complement, whatever E and E dash, E, the event, E dash or E complement, the complement of E. So now the probability of E complement, the probability of E complement plus probability of E that equal 1. So in, in that case, just I need to highlight that. Well, probability of E complement plus probability of E that equal 1. So if you have a probability of E and you need to find the probability of E complement, just 1 minus probability of E. Okay. The third rule, conditional. As we said, if you have independent events, that means there is no relation between them. But sometimes we have related events. So if we have related events, we can introduce a conditional probability. So what is the probability of E given F? What is the probability of E given F? So I need to highlight that. That means now E depends on F. يعني في عندي حدثين two events related هنا في الحلقة في الكيس بتاعتنا في الفورمولا دي معناها ان ال E بيعتمد على ال F او E depends on F يعني E and F they are related وعندي ال E depends on F او we can say that ان ال F happened first and then E the probability of E depends on the F so probability of E given F what is the probability of E given F that equal the intersection divided by the probability of what happened first. So now in that formula we say F first and then E, so we have to divide by the probability of F. So now again, the formula for the conditional probability, probability of E given F equal probability of E F, the intersection, divided by the probability of the event that happened first. We have two related events, one of them happened first and then the second can happen and that Related to the first event, if we can find the conditional probability. If the meaning of that, and then احتمالات في بينها علاقة. Sorry, and then أحداث في بينها علاقة. وبالتالي عايزين نجيب احتمال حدث بدلالة الحدث الآخر الذي وقع. فبنجيبه إزاي بالconditional وده الفورمولا بتاعتنا. طبعا we can change the order, reverse يعني probability of f given e. That means we have E first, and then we have F based on E. Now, just we are changing what you are dividing by. So, in the first case, we divide by F because we have F first. In the second case, we are dividing by E because we have E first. Okay? That the conditional probability uh, rule. Uh, the... The last... Uh, probability rule we can say conditional inter sorry intersection so the intersection we don't have a specific formula because we have different cases for the intersection intersection can be given in the union yani in some questions you have a union the probability of the union and then you, you need to find the intersection just from the formula the first rule for the uh, union a second case you can have a conditional and from that conditional you need to find an intersection as we have in these two rules for the conditional. So in that case, if you have assuming now, I need to explain again at that point, 
how can be from the conditional yeah the intersection can be from the conditional in a specific question you have probability of e given f and you have probability of f and you need to find the probability of e given f just using cross multiplication بالعربي بسطين في طرفين حيديني الانترسكشن that the point for the uh, conditional rule how to find the intersection from conditional rule the last case and we have a probability we have a probability of e and we have a probability of f and you have one information saying that in the e and f are independent and if a question you will like the probability of f and probability of e we in e and f are independent then very simply we can find the intersection as the product of them that the different cases for the intersection